Hey everybody, time for another Final Cut Pro lesson. And today we're up to basic editing. This is really editing 101. You've never really edited before, especially in this software. So um, I'm just gonna show you the real very basics and, and some things to keep in mind uh, so you don't make the same mistakes that some other newer editors do. Uh, so I've got some, I, I've got a, a project, I've got a library, and I've got an event set up. You've done all that, you've imported footage, and now it's time to put it together. So this lower half of my screen down here, this is called your timeline, this is where everything's going to happen. So uh, the edits that we make up here in our bin uh, for our raw footage is going to end up down here. Down here is where you'll have your master, uh, you'll have titles and sound and music and sound effects and whatever else. Uh, you'll be putting into your final master. So uh, let's get started. So one of the first things that beginner editors tend to do is they'll take footage from up here in their bin and they'll start to drag it down in order. And then they'll go back in later on and they'll start to cut this up either later or you know one clip at a time. But what happens is these two right here are really short clips. This is only 30 seconds worth of a timeline right now. You start building these clips out and you end up getting to the point where you're at, you know, five minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. It starts to become quite a lot to manage down there in your timeline. So what you want to do, uh, and I'm going to get these two clips out of here. I'm going to highlight them and hit delete. You want to make your edits up here or at least a rough edit. You can still make final edits down here if you'd like to. That's your final cut. Uh, but you want to make your raw, your rough edit up here so that it's more manageable. What you're going to do is you're going to edit this clip and you're going to bring only that part of the clip that you want down to your timeline. Okay, so I'm going to start. I love this. Love animals. Let's start with a nice dog shot. So uh, what I want you to start to do is get used to using shortcuts. You want your right hand on the mouse so you can have control. And you want your left hand to be on the keyboard. I want you to put your three middle fingers on your left hand over the J, K, L keys. So your ring finger ends up on J, and then we go from there. J, K, L. And you'll notice right above J, K, L on your keyboard, J, K, and L are the I and O keys. That stands for in and out, input, output. Uh, so you want to use your left hand to work through these controls as shortcuts so you can edit a little more efficiently. So let's talk about JKL. L is on the right side of the three. That's the play key. K I just hit is the pause key. That's the one in the middle. And J is played backwards. So what happens is as you're shuttling through a clip trying to find a specific point, you can actually use JKL to quickly get to the point that you want. Now, let's say I want to be at the point just before he sticks his tongue out there. I've gone a little too far back, but I don't want to go that far forward either, so I'm going to use the left and right arrows. The right arrow will go forward one frame at a time. Left arrow goes backward one frame at a time. This project I'm working on now is 60 frames per second, which means that every frame you go is 1 60th of a second, so you can be pretty accurate. So I'm going to move forward. There's the tongue coming out. I'm going to move back a little. Now, there's the spot that I want to start my edit. That's my end point. I'm going to hit the letter I with my left hand. And now you'll notice that prior, uh, earlier I had this clip was highlighted all yellow. Now the yellow doesn't start until that end point. Okay, so now I'm going to hit play using the L key. We've got, that's our second shot there with the tongue coming out. I want to end my clip right after the tongue goes back in the mouth. So I'm going to play. And now I got to go back using the left arrow a little bit, one frame at a time, and forward. Perfect. Guess what I'm going to hit here? O. O for out point. So now I have an in and an out. I'm going to blow up my, my uh, screen a little bit here so you can see. See this yellow clip now? That's the clip that I want, my rough edit. I'm going to take that clip. And now I'm going to drag it down. And it's a tiny little clip down there, but if I blow up my timeline a little bit, I'll notice that oh, I can't blow up my timeline anymore. So uh, it's down here. It's a short clip. It's only one second and four frames. So that's a really small clip, but you get the point. Now, another thing I can do once I have this highlighted 
is I can actually hit E for edit on my keyboard and that will bring it down to the timeline and every time you hit E after making a rough edit it will build on your timeline. If you look down at my timeline every time I hit E it's building it from left to right. So if you want the clip to be at the end of your timeline just hit the letter E. If you want the clip to be somewhere in the middle of this then you need to take that clip, bring it down, and it'll separate so you could drop that in to where you want. And that is very basic editing 101 using JKL INO to navigate your uh, raw footage and take your in and out points uh, of the portion of the clip that you want, bring it down to your timeline. All you do now is when you move on to the next clip, hit I for in in the spot that you want to start it and you'll have a new endpoint that'll override the old one and then go from there.